Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Sport, it's me Joe again and match day one of the WSL season kicked off and it kicked off with a bang last weekend with Chelsea taking on Aston Villa at Kings Meadow and Chelsea coming out on top with that one. It had lots of frills and spills did match day one of this WSL season and I'm here to preview match day two starting off on Friday night again with the champions Chelsea this time travelling away to Salhurst Park to pace Crystal Palace in a 7.30 kick off in that one so on the opening day Crystal Palace succumbed to defeat away to Tottenham Hotspur at Brisbane Road home of Leighton Orient and Tottenham Hotspur win and it was a comprehensive victory with Hayley Rasso also getting on the score sheet on her debut for Tottenham Hotspur Whereas Chelsea came out 1 0 winners at home to Aston Villa in what was a tough victory, a hard earned victory in that opening game. I think it's going to be uh, any. E- I hate using the word easy. I think Palace might put more of a fight this time round. I think the opening day nerves would have gone away from them, but I still can see a comprehensive win for Chelsea with a 3 0 victory there at Salhurst Park. And the champions storming on with six points from the opening two games. So the only team which will have a 100% record after the opening two fixtures. Second game of the weekend will be Manchester City versus Brighton and Hove Albion at the Joy Stadium. There's no fixtures on Saturday, but on Sunday they'll be taking on Brighton at the Joy Stadium. At the opening weekend, Manchester City came to a 2 or draw in a dramatic, controversial game at the Emirates Stadium against Arsenal. With both teams having decisions not go their way, and then other ones that maybe contentiously shouldn't have gone their way way as well. So, yeah, a bit of a controversial game there. Eunice Ida Valley, the Arsenal manager, was not happy. Gautel wasn't happy with a few decisions, especially to the build-up to Arsenal's equalising goal from Beth Mead uh, after there was a claims of a foul on Chloe Kelly in the build-up. I'll let you guys decide on that one. But, yeah, um, with that one... Manchester City obviously draw away to Arsenal, normally a good result, but obviously when you're trying to push for the title, dropping points early doors is not ideal. Regards to Brighton and Hove Albion, a demolition against Everton at home, 4-0, and you know, hatch it for their new signing as well. I think they're not going to get the points on this occasion, though. I think Manchester City will take all three points with a 2-0 victory at the Joy Stadium. I'll probably see a Chloe Kelly goal uh, for the first time this season. In that one. The next game on Sunday, 2 o'clock kickoff at Walton Hall Park between Everton and Manchester United. Everton had that nightmare start, as I just previously mentioned, against Brighton and Hove Albion. And um, the first home game of the season is a tough one against Manchester United, a team that they haven't had the best of forms against in recent seasons. And I don't think that that run is going to come to an end. I think they'll succumb to defeat again after the opening day and they'll be towards the bottom end of the table. Uh, I think, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Everton uh, this summer. They've signed some good players. They have. They've signed Hayashi from West Ham, like I previously mentioned in the last video, uh, as another quality signing. And they've already got an abundance of quality in that squad. But I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe it might take some time to gel, or it's just the fact that they started off with two really difficult fixtures. I think Manchester United demolition of West Ham last weekend at Old Trafford, 3 0 victory there, with Grace Clinton getting on the score sheet. I mentioned how she'll be a key player this season. So, yeah, I'm going to see another victory for Manchester United and another. 3-0 3-0 win and I can see Clinton getting on the score sheet again and Tooney I predicted to score last week she didn't score but she loves a goal against the Ev so I'm going to go with Toon to get on the score sheet as well in that one so yeah I'm going to go 3-0 Manchester United away to Everton at Walton Hall Park I think the next fixture is a big one ignore the fact that I'm wearing a Liverpool top I'm not being biased in this prediction much uh, no uh it's West Ham United versus Liverpool at the Chigwell Construction Stadium. I think it's another three o'clock kickoff. It's a long trip to Liverpool. They've not a uh, long trip sorry, to London for Liverpool. They've found that they've not particularly done well at in the past as well. Uh, getting a draw there last season, most notably as well, scraping a draw towards the end. I think. I think. Like I say, West Ham have lost a lot of their key players and I think the fact that they lost Mackenzie Arnold is a massive, massive blow. I can't stress that enough. Um, she was a quality goalkeeper last season as well. Quality for the new uh, for the national team as well. So, yeah, I think 
it's a massive, massive blow there for West Ham. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Liverpool. I think they'll get the first three points of the season after conceding a goal last week that made them succumb to a draw at home to Leicester City, who are a bit of a bogey side of the club anyway. I think, yeah, uh, I'm going to go Leanne Keenan scoring against a former club as well. As Mary Herbinger getting her first goal of the season, I think, for Liverpool. The next game on Sunday, because obviously there's no Saturday fixtures this weekend, another three o'clock kickoff at the King Power Stadium. Leicester City, who I've just mentioned in the previous, previous prediction, who, who got a draw away at the Totally Wicked Stadium last week against Liverpool, take on Arsenal, who drew at home to Manchester City. Both teams will be looking to get their three, first three points of the season, but I can only see it going one way. It was a ground where Arsenal scored six last season in the league, and I can see them scoring again this season, but I can't see them getting six. I am going to go for a 3-1 win to Arsenal in this one. I think Cayman will get on the score sheet for Leicester City as well. Uh, I think with, with Arsenal... The quality will will show again in the attacking positions. I think we'll see a Russo goal because she seems to love a goal against Leicester City. I think we'll see Beth Mead on the score sheet again. And uh, probably Cadena uh, scoring as well for Arsenal. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 win for Arsenal. And the final game of the weekend, 4.30 kickoff, Villa Park, Aston Villa versus Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, it's good to see Aston Villa playing there. All their games, they're committed to playing all their women's home games at Villa Park this season, which is absolutely fantastic following suit from Leicester City. Uh, Arsenal have agreed, obviously, as well, to play, I think it's at least five fixtures, league fixtures at the Emirates this season as well. So hopefully more teams follow suit in in the near future um, and allow their women's teams to play all their home fixtures at their main stadium. But yeah, uh, in this one, I think it's going to be a tight game, a tough game between the two teams. I know Aston Villa's come to defeat, like I mentioned, against Chelsea in the opening day of the season with Tottenham, demolishing newly promoted Crystal Palace by four goals to nil. But I think this one's going to be a draw. I think I see both teams um, cancelling each other out. Aston Villa very, very, or were very, very difficult at home last season. I know they're under new management, but he seems to want to play fast, expansive attacking football. So I'm going to go for a one-all draw in this one. Rachel Daly to get on the score sheet and Hayley Rasso for Tottenham Hotspur as well in what will be another dramatic weekend in the WSL. And we'll have more content on Lex Tot Sport coming up through the following weeks with hopefully a few more watch-alongs as well for the season and a few match day blogs as well uh, when we manage to get to around to go into some fixtures. So yeah, that's my prediction as a preview for match day two of the WSL season let us know your thoughts in the comments below let us know your what who you think are going to win the matches what the results are going to be and who will probably go on to win the title this season don't forget to like the video comment below subscribe to let's just sport for more content and we'll see you all on the channel very soon